Hi guys, my name is Marine and isa kong artist. As your ate na pursuing art for almost nine years na. <laughs> my God. I'm still in the process of developing my art style. But let me tell you how I ended up finding this, this style. So I wrote everything in this small notebook. Yung ideas ko, yung tips ko sa inyo. Tip number one, you need to experiment. What I mean in experimenting is you need to try a lot of mediums. So, nang nagsisimula ako, na-try ko yung uh, colored pencil, tapos nag-shift ako sa watercolor kasi nahihirapan ako sa colored pencil. And then, watercolor, I jumped into acrylic. Trinay ko si acrylic. And then, nag din ako ng graphite, ng charcoal, ganon. I tried oil. By trying all those mediums na hanap ko kung ano yung gamay ko talaga. So, in every medium, iba-iba kasi yung, iba-iba yung gamit niya. For example, si colored pencil, ganun. You need to learn blending in there. Si watercolor, kailangan mong mag-control ng tubig, mga ganun. So, by doing all those steps or yung mga basics ng mga medium na yun, you will realize kung ano yung gamay mo. And kapag nahanap mo yung gamay mo, mas mapapadali sa'yo na mag-focus na lang doon sa isang medium na yun and then ma apply mo siya doon sa art style na gusto mo. Like for example, for me, I currently do mixed media art. This is a mix of acrylic, um, charcoal pencil, and then oil pastels. Kasi I tried all those mediums na before so I know how to use it na. And I mix everything na ngayon. But if you will find a medium that you can focus to, Uh, it will be a little bit easier for you to find what your style is. Kasi there are a lot of artists na may art style na sila. Iisa lang yung focus nilang medium, for example, ganun. I follow a lot of artists on Instagram, amazing artists, na may kanya-kanya silang style. And most of the time, yung art style nila, um, focus lang siya sa isang medium, ganun. Like, for example, oil. Ganun. Oil paint lang lahat ng ginagamit nila. Ganun. Anyway, tip number two. Dahil nabanggit ko na kanina yung mga artists out there. Yes. Um, you need to find inspiration from other artists. Uh, as for me, I try to find inspiration or I try to find other artists through Pinterest and Instagram. Oh, and museums. If my museum na malapit sa inyo. Sa Pinterest... Um, napakaraming pictures doon ng mga artworks from all over, from artists all over the world. Doon ko na-discover mostly yung mga p- favorite kong artists ngayon. Or doon ako nakahanap ng mga ideas. And, yeah, inspiration to find what I like. Or ano yung, what's the word? Niche? Uh, yung niche mo. Yung interest mo, ganun. Um, last year, I think last year, I was very interested in surrealism. So, I search a lot of surrealism paintings on Pinterest and try to uh, learn how to, how to do that. Paano ko ma-achieve yun? Paano ko ma-express yung self ko through sur- surrealism? Going back to number one, ba? Diba? Experiment. Nag-experiment lang ako. But just because I said na you need to look for inspiration from other artists, I didn't mean na i-plagiarize mo sila or gagayahin mo yung art style nila. You can practice doing what they do or practice um, how they do it, ganun. pero do not copy other artists. Kasi art style is your individual style. You cannot replicate other artists. I used to do that before. Yung I try to achieve other artists' work and it will not help you find your art style, honestly. Pag gumagaya-gaya ka lang, pwede mo siyang i-practice, ganun. Pero do not copy. Do not copy. If you wanna find your art style, do not copy other art styles. You need to find your own, <laughs> if that makes sense. And for my last tip, you need to find your subject. Because alam i-word to, but subject is like 
for, for me, yung subject is like, ano yung focus ng mga paintings mo or artworks mo, for example. I follow a lot of artists and yung mga artists na meron na silang art style, iisa lang yung vibe ng painting nila or iisa yung focus and subject ng paintings nila. Ganun. For example, si Fernando Amor Solo, uh, Filipino artist. Most of his paintings are focused on Filipino life. Ganun. Parang life in the Philippines. Ganun yung mga pinapakita niya yung culture natin, yung damit natin. You know what I mean? In a way, dahil yun lang yung focus niya. Nagda-develop yung art style niya na iisa lang. And by doing that, parang mas madali siyang marirecognize na kay Fernando Amor Solo yun. Uh, another thing, uh, there was this artist na surrealist artist siya eh, na sikat. I forgot his name. Ilalagay ko lang dito. Most of the paintings niya is parang mga doll-like creatures, ganun. Yung sa akin naman, yung focus ko ngayon, nung nahanap ko yung niche ko, or yung interest ko, yung subject ko, I like drawing like uh, a child, ganun. Parang ang trip ko ngayon is, yung, pain- yung paintings ko or drawings ko ay magmukha siyang drawing ng bata. For some reason, interesting, interesting sa akin yung ganun. Every time that I look for inspiration, for contemporary paintings, I always end up dun sa uh, pins, sa, sa Pinterest, na puro ganon yung style. So by that, mas madali kong nahanap yung gusto kong art style. Mas madali sa akin na mag-work dun sa art style na gusto ko. If you are an artist and frustrated ka or naiinis ka kasi hindi mo mahanap-hanap yung art style mo, um, do not be that. <laughs> ano? Huwag ka maging nega sa self mo kasi art is a never-ending process. Okay? Every artwork you make, you learn from it. You will realize a lot of things by trying. Hindi lang sa art, kundi sa life itself. Well, um, another, hindi na to tip, pero advice is you need to stop yourself from comparing your work from other artists. Um, if ever you feel na inferior ka sa ibang artist, ganun, like, ay, ang galing-galing naman nito, and yung sa akin, hindi, ano, hindi maganda, paano ko kaya magagawa yung ginagawa niya? You need to remember na almost every artist, ay, it took them years to achieve what they have, or what skill, what skill they have right now. So, bali yung mga tip na sinabi ko is umiikot lang siya sa isang word which is try. Mag-try ka lang na mag-try. Try mo yung iba't ibang medium. Try mo yung um, style na nakita mo sa ganito. Um, itry mong mag-drawing ng ganito na subject. By trying, you will find what really works for you, ganon. By being in your shoes before, and nahanap ko na yung interest ko sa art, yung style na gusto kong i-achieve sa art, ang masasabi ko lang is, kung gusto mong mahanap yung art style mo, kailangan mo hanapin yung sarili mo. Sino ka ba? Tanang yung sarili mo, sino ka ba? If you watch Avatar The Last Airbender, sinabi ni, sinabi ni Uncle Iroh kay Zuko, this Tinanong niya si Zuko this exact dialogue. Who are you and what do you want? Ask yourself that and it will give you the answer. Because a lot of artists na nahanap na nila yung art style nila, yun na yung mga artists na malaya na sila eh. Malaya na silang mag-express or ilabas yung ideas nila, yung gusto nila iparating sa mundo. Ganun. You need to free yourself from doubt, from frustrations, ganon, from copying, from comparing to other people. You need to find your individuality. You need to find yourself in order to find your style in art. Ayan, so I hope uh, you learn a thing or two from me, your ate sa art. And I hope on my next vlog, I could share more tips and tricks and advice and inspiration for other young artists or mga gusto maging artist din. Thank you for watching this video and ayun, see you on my next video and bye-bye! Drawing ka na!